Welcome to Electron Online, and in our next video, we're going to take a look at a very special case of Lewis structures, which are, which are called resonance structures. Sometimes you end up with a molecule that has various ways of coming up with the very same structure. And let me try to explain that by using this particular example. We're going to take a look at the ozone molecule, the O3 molecule, also called trioxygen. And so if you're going to try and draw a Lewis structure of that, Notice, first of all, there's only one type of atom, so uh, that means that you don't have to figure out which one is the most electronegative. Oxygen, of course, is it. Secondly, though, you do want to figure out the number of valence electrons, and for oxygen, uh, we have six valence electrons. There's three molecules, so that's a total of 18 valence electrons. So, what does that molecule look like? Probably something like this. There's three oxygen molecules. Let's start off with a single bond between them. Now, that's probably not going to be the right structure because if you need six, if you have six valence electrons, that means each oxygen is going to be looking to make an additional bond to come up with the right number of, of uh, valence electrons. So one is not probably the right way to go, but let's start with one and see what happens. If this one makes two bonds, that means it has two extra valence electrons like that over there and two more there to make a total of eight valence electrons. So the central oxygen looks like it's in pretty good shape. Next, we can see that since one of these six is already taken up by the bond, that leaves us with five more on this oxygen and that leaves us with five more on this oxygen, like so. But again, it's not likely that you end up with a structure where you only have an, an odd number of valence electrons on any one of the atoms, so that's probably not a preferred way to go. So we're looking at a molecule here that at this point that's not satisfying uh, either the octet rule, um, it may not even be satisfying the total number of electrons, let's see if, if it does or not. So we have 5 plus 5 plus 4, that's 14, 16, and 18. Yes, it does follow the correct number of electrons, but it definitely does not follow the octet rule. So something has to change here. So it's going to do something that's not quite the norm. It's going to try and make one additional uh, bond right here. So in order to do that, it's going to take this electron right here and this electron right here and form an additional bond. Still, the total number of electrons is still satisfied. But now we end up with something that looks like this. So we have an oxygen here, a double bond here, an oxygen there. This one now has three electrons. Mm, we typically frown upon that. We don't like that. This one now has four electrons, which is good, and a double bond. So this oxygen seems to be quite happy now with two, four, six, eight valence electrons. Here we still have a single bond with an oxygen here and five valence electrons. Again, Five valence electrons is not good because these five plus those two gives us seven, and so not a good uh, concept here. Also notice that the octet rule is not followed here because it has two, four, six, eight, nine electrons here, which is also not a good thing. This one has nine, this one has seven, so what probably will happen is this electron will shift over there, join this oxygen, that will leave this one with eight, and this one with eight, and that's probably the right way. So a third way of drawing this would be to take the oxygen here, double bond, oxygen here, single bond, oxygen there, this electron goes over here and forms six valence electrons around this oxygen. This one now only needs two valence electrons to form its octet, and here this one will have two valence electrons plus a double bond to come up with its eight valence electrons. So now we have what we would call the correct Lewis structure. However, why would this oxygen form a double bond and this one form a single bond with six valence electrons? Why not the other way around? The other way around can happen just as well with an equal probability. So what could happen is that actually we can have this as a Lewis structure, an oxygen in the middle, one over there, one over there, with a single bond, a double bond, two electrons over here, four electrons like this, and six electrons like that. Notice that we can now have both of these Lewis structures simultaneously existing. You can have it like this, you can have it like that. And really what happens in real life is that the structure will bounce back and forth between the two types of uh, arrangements. In other words, Half the time, the structure will look like this. Half the time, the structure will look like this and bounce back and forth simply as a rule of thumb. 
And so the way we then indicate that is we have ourselves what we call a resonant structure. What we're saying is that the oxygen ozone molecule will look like this half the time and will look like this half the time and ping pong back and forth between them. And so we want to draw both Lewis structures with an arrow like this, a double arrow like this in between, indicating that it will be like this and like that, like this and like that. In some cases, you may have three or four different ways in which a molecule can exist. Then you have to draw four of these with arrows in between, indicating that the molecule will periodically be in one or the other state and going back and forth in an equal amount of time. As far as charge is concerned, it looks like we're following the octet rule here, the octet rule there, and the octet rule there, so I think we're good there. We just simply see that there's two different ways in which the oxygen can be arranged with the bonding structure. And so it'll just ping pong back and forth between the two. A good example of the resonance structure. And then we'll do at least one more example like that to see that there's cases where you can have three or four of these where it ping pongs back and forth and you, you kind of get the idea of how this is structured.